Hi, it's me, Renee Michelle. Welcome to Intuitive Insight, my um, one of my shows here on YouTube where I intuitively um, um, predict current events or give insight to current events. And um, this is a part two to Prince, right? Sorry that people are talking in the background, but I was like, while I'm at Starbucks, I'm gonna go ahead, record it, and send it so it's done. So that is done. Anyway, I was looking, um, reading coming some of the articles, and as y'all saw from the past, is the pills are starting to show up, aren't they? Right? I mean, nobody knew nothing is when I said that the pills were an issue. But now stuff is going to show up, and like I said, y'all are going to see exactly what happened. But I have something else, right? I was looking at a picture of him in Vanity. Now, a lot of people have said, you know, it was kind of weird how Vanity and Prince died really close together. And I, and I really do believe that they had a very significant and very poignant relationship. And I knew that Prince hadn't left. Of course, they, they cremated him so quickly, but I still feel like he hadn't left. And I feel like this man looked, his soul looked all over the place. Like he went to her house, he went to where she lived now, where she lived when they knew each other. With it, he looked, he went to every single destination that him and Vanity ever spent any form of time in, right? He went everywhere, y'all, when I tell you this man searched for her. Oversees everything. So then I feel like she, he was like, well, if she knew I was coming, hey, she would have waited. That's his thought. So I, I see, I get this vision of him like sitting, like at one of their places. I don't know if it's by the water or wherever. He was just sitting there. Like, I know she didn't go to heaven. Like, they, the angels came to get him. And he was like, nah, I'm waiting on somebody. I'm, my peoples, you know what I mean? And the way it was, y'all, is just that he was just sitting there and she was behind him. He turned and she said, are you looking for me? And he turned around and there she was. And white, with the, when I tell you they make this whole scene, Vanity made this whole scene for Prince. And she took him. So he went, so he did, but he wasn't gonna leave without her. And I wanted y'all to know that and see that, that he was really concerned about her and her spirit and where she was and that he wasn't gonna go and spend time in heaven and not, you know, and her not be there. So he would have a just chance not even going at all. I don't feel like he cared one iota what happened to him after he died. What happened to all his money and everything like that? I don't think he was ever that kind of guy. Like, if they were to fight over, let him fight over it. It's not, he feels like there was nothing that he can, he wasn't going to try to control the situation from the grave. Like, whatever happened, happened. Let him have it, let him do with it, let him squalor it, or whatever. I feel like he did what he wanted to do with his money while he was here. And then, you know, he said, whoever want to do whatever, whenever, however, let him go ahead. But, and I say but, right? You, there is a will. Renee! <laughs> There's a will, y'all. There's a will, and I feel like whoever this is is taking over his estate as they go through his individual property, like after the investigation is over, and they start going through his works, they're going to find it. And I believe that this will was connected to his wife, his ex-wife, but not the second one, the first one, Mate, the one that had the little boy. But you know, wills are always still in effect. Unless you change them, they could be 1984. And they're still in effect. But I believe that when he had the union with her and they were about to have a child, that he did a will. And let's really see what this is going to say. But I feel like it's going to come out. It's going to come into fruition that they found. There's an attorney that knows this will exist. He said, I did a will for him a long time ago. But I feel like this attorney is saying, oh, he probably had it changed since then. Or, you know, he may have had it known by somebody else if you can do that. I don't know how wills go. But I'm going to tell you right now, there's a piece of paper that says, my Prince Rogers, my will and testament. Yep. And they will find it and they will release it to the press. All right, guys, that's all for my boy Prince. I love him. I'm glad he's in heaven, and I'm glad Vanity came the way she did. She really she really rocked it. She looked just like she did in the 80s and 90s. She was gorgeous. She turned around, and he looked, she looked just like 
you know, Purple Rain. She looked just like what he always envisioned. So I'm happy for them, and I'm happy that he was able to go with somebody. But she messed with him a little bit first. I feel like she jokingly like knew he was looking and just was like, I'm just going to wait it out. Yeah. All right, y'all stay blessed and I say love you.